Okay, friends, welcome on into the official beginning of the Joja Let's Thrive modded playthrough of Stardew Valley. With me, your host, Hillhome. Hey, if you want some of the biggest uh, mods and things that we're using, that video is the intro video. Uh, link, of course, in the description. And also, that is the first video in the playlist. So uh, if you skip that one and you want some more info on that at any time, just go on back to that video and check it out. Uh, I have everything set up here the way that I have planned it out to be. Name, Hill, obviously. Farm name, Surf and Turf Farm. We are on the beach farm for a little bit of some extra spicy challenge reasons. Mostly limited farming because we're only going to be farming where you can put sprinklers on that farm. And also the greenhouses that are available, you know, the island eventually, so on and so forth. But um, mainly we're going to be focusing on ranching and we're going to be focusing on... Uh, maybe some slime hutches, and uh, on top of that, maybe also some fish ponds. We'll do all those kind of thing, because the beach farm is pretty big. Can fit a lot of that in there. Looking forward to all of it. Of course, our favorite thing in this playthrough would be Thai iced tea, because, uh, let's be honest, it's delicious, and I love it. So, it's one of my favorite things. We're going to go with the cute little gray kitty cat. We have set our character up to have the nice J for Joja on, on the shirt there. Uh, we picked out hair color, eye color, all that stuff. I went with sort of like a corduroy looking uh, pants. Um, I think that looks cool. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, the only other thing that I did is I did remix the mining bundle. So the rewards at the end of the mining floors will be randomized to some extent. Um, we'll see how that goes. That might make mining really hard. But you know what? It's a challenge. And it's a challenge, hopefully, that will be enjoyable to do. So we're going to do that. We are on the beach farm. We are ready to go. Let's get at it, friends. Here we go. Just keep in mind, since it is modded, it will take a bit to load when we get to the actual loading point. Okay, well, I'll cut that out of the video. And for my very special grandson. Hi, Grandpa. How are you? Obviously, you're not doing that great. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Okay, I'm listening. What do you got for me? There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I feel like that's already happened. <laughs> Not in the game, but anyway. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I, I think that's my whole generation, really, Grandpa. If you... All right, let's not get too depressing in this video. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. All righty. I'm sure we will. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Is that 20? 20 years later. How old are you supposed to be in this game? Like, even if you're like, let's say 28, for example. I mean, what? how much older than like Abigail and Emily and Haley are you? My goodness. Oh, look, there's us hanging out. Oh, wait, I thought we were, oh, are, are we sleeping right now? Are we crying? Are we having a moment of existential dread? Probably all of the above. No, that might be a tear. <laughs> Opens the drawer. There's the letter. Dear Hill, if you are reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Surf and Turf Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hello to the old guy for me, will you? Sure thing, Gramps. We'll say hello. And then... That's about all we'll say, because Lewis is... Well, he's Lewis. You know? You know what I mean? 
He's Lewis. And here we are on the bus. Let's chug chug our way into into the valley, friends. Into the valley we go. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Hey, that's how long my commute is to my real life job. 0.5 miles. That's nice. It's not so far at all. Hello, pretty bird. Cheep cheep to you. There it goes. And here's Robin. Hello! You must be Hill. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. All right. We will follow you, Robin. To the farm. It's a nice farm, isn't it? Look at all of the trees. This is Surf and Turf Farm. Ah! Momentary panic attack. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I don't doubt it. We got this. We can do it. And here we are, your new home. Smile. There's Lewis. Oh, the new farmer. Well, hello, Lewis. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Hmm. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very, uh... Rustic? Yes. Rustic indeed. Rustic? Well, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. I mean, look, I, I'm okay with crusty. Rude! I mean, look, you know, it's a beach farm. There's probably some salty air. It is a little crusty. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Hill. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. Ah! <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. All right, Lewis. Have a good one. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just put it in this box. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. I like how Robin stands there looking cross that entire time, by the way. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. Also, Lewis never does give us the key to our house back. I think at any point he can sort of like sneak in there and, uh, you know, get, get into the house. That's a little disconcerting. I mean, could you imagine if the mayor to your town had a key to your house and could just come in at any time? Like, how weird would that be for you? And here we are, the first day in Stardew Valley Surf and Turf Farm. Boy, it's going to be hard for me to remember that one. Turnips are ours. Oh, yeah. You receive 15 parsnip seeds, uh, whatever they are. Oh, let's uh, have a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. All right. Well, say hello to 71 people. <laughs> well, welcome to modded Stardew. That's a lot of people. Getting started, uh, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay, and here we have our one of our mods right here, the Antique TV. The weather report for tomorrow is beautiful and sunny, and the fortune teller for today is good humor. Excellent. Look, we can sit here. Oh, it's glorious. All right, well, time to get to work. So, what are we going to do? Well, here's the first thing we're going to do. We are going to chop down as much of these bushes as we can. It takes no energy. And sometimes, if you are super lucky, there they are, you get some mixed seeds. Obviously, mixed seeds is more planting. More planting is more crops. More crops is more money. And that's what we need in this playthrough. Money, 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 money. That's right. Now, also, before the end of the day, we do have to run around and uh, we'll slowly build up our mixed seed pile. But we need to run around and look for forage. 
and we need to chop down some trees to try to ensure that we get to level one foraging as fast as possible. So that, uh, two reasons, we can start to gather up tree seeds, number one. But number two, so that we can use those to make ourselves some of those uh, uh, lovely trail snacks, thusly ensuring that we have some energy regeneration abilities, uh, which will help us do all of the various things that we need to get done in the course of our days in Stardew Valley. The hidden resource of Stardew is currently ticking away in the background very quickly, and that is time. Time is the resource of Stardew that, that'll that get you. Energy, not so much. I mean, energy is obvious, right? You can refill it. But much like in real life, you can't get more time in Stardew Valley. Uh, so thank you all so, uh, for spending your time with me, because in real life, you can't get your time back either. So I appreciate all of you being here. Let's run through here. We're going to grab all of the things off of here. Now, in this playthrough, it is going to be a playthrough where we support the evil Joja Corporation. That being said, we're going to limit ourselves in a couple of ways. We've remixed the mines, as I mentioned earlier. And in addition to that, uh, we're only going to be uh, growing plants here. Uh, where there is the possibility of eventually having some sprinklers. So, just be ready for all of that. All of this was chosen on purpose. I wanted a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of something different than just, here's a giant, giant farm. Let's grow as many crops as we can. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different than that. So that's why we're doing the things that we're doing. Okay, now we need to make... Is it 15? We have 15 seeds. Okay, there's five. And then we can do a nice little grouping of 15 right here. Obviously, we're going to want to get our uh, axe upgraded fairly quickly so that we can break all of these uh, logs here and uh, access more land to farm. That is sort of an important step in the whole thing that we need to do. Okie dokie, look at us go. Getting our crops watered. We are going. Alright, and now we have six more seeds. Let's just make another grouping down here. One, two, three, four, and we can do this will be twelve. Right? Four times three? Yeah. Okay. We'll just put those down here. Now we only have six right now, but I'm going to hope that by the end of the day, we can fill that up. We'll see. Uh, I believe that it was two potatoes. A couple other things there. Oops, I missed. Now, do we run into town and grab some more seeds? Um, maybe. That would preclude us from being able, probably, to leveling up foraging today. Because, as you may remember, it takes a lot of energy to chop down a tree at the beginning of the, of the game. And that is, like, one of the best ways to get foraging experience is chopping down trees. That is certainly true. Okay. Okay. So far, we are... We are one wood short from a chest. Well, let's... Let's just take care of that now. We'll go build our chest up here. Uh, my phone... Keep, I, keep, I keep seeing it go off as I'm recording. Today, as I record this, it's Monday. Uh, it is my birthday today. And um, so, like, extended family and stuff uh, keeps trying to call me because it's my birthday. And I'm like, no, I'm busy recording things right now. Like, <laughs> give it a break, you know. Which is kind of funny. Okay, let's bring the hoe and the scythe with us. And we'll go on into town. We'll see if maybe we can't get some forage. And here we have a cutscene right away. <laughs> so, Lenny, not too loud now. What if someone hurt you? They might find out about me and... Chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyway, I gotta go. Still got lots of paperwork left. Real nice of you to settle me with all that, by the way. Stop calling me that. And it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. Hmm. 
No can do, Lulu. It's my right is your big sister. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. Take care now. Oh? Ah! Hell. Oh, uh, nice seeing you. So, how much of that did you hear? Oh, Lenny. I like that we just whistle at him. Question mark? That was Lenny, my older sister. She came by to give me Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. Huh? Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you? Well, there are neighbors in the mountains to the west. Uh, you can use the cable car to head up there if you like to visit. That cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it? Uh, I did hear someone in the village has close ties to the governor. Which Lewis would obviously like. Anyway, uh, do go visit when you have the time. A part of their tourism revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know. Okay. I better get back to town. Goodbye, Hill. Goodbye, Lewis. Have a great day, buddy. Take care of yourself. Fade to black. Ridgeside Village, huh? Well, I should visit sometime. Sometime we will. There's a daffodil. Hello, new person. Hey, you're the new farmer, right? Lenny said you'd likely stop by. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Kenneth, Ridgeside Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Who's this? No, I don't know you. Oh, you're the new farmer. I'm Yuma. Shiro's my big brother. Oh, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, see ya. Oh, hello, sir. I haven't seen you around before. You're the new farmer who just moved into the valley? Nice to meet you. I'm Philip. I work as a physical therapist for some individuals in the area. I'll see you around. All right. Oh, hey! I haven't seen you around before. Are you the new farmer? Sorry, I don't get out much to socialize. Name's Shiro. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, new friends. Hello. Look, we have forage. Heck yeah, we got forage. I got forage. You got forage. We all got forage. I think probably what I will do is we'll check this question mark. Ha ha! Morris's birthday is coming. Oh goodness. Well, hello. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Hello, you must be Hill, the new farmer. I am Carolyn. Caroline? Caroline. Let's go Caroline in this playthrough. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Uh, would you like a flower? Oh, goodness. Are you sure? I am sure. Hello? Hey, no, let's actually... There we go. Hey, it's Mr. Hill, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local grocery store. You are looking for seeds? My shop is the place to go. We also buy produce for a good price. All right. Well, I'm glad that you're excited about all that. Uh, let's get... Five and two. There we go. Ten more. Ten more. Seven more seeds. Awesome. Hello, hello. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. So exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met my son, Victor? Uh, no. You have a, you have a kid? How, how old is anyone in this town? It's a mystery to me. I seriously, I have literally have no idea how old anyone in this town is. I'm, I think I'm okay with that, but like, it is a little bit weird at the same time. Ba, ba, da, ba. I wonder who owns these. I often wonder that. That's a change in the mod, but I don't know who actually owns it. Yes, Forage! Maru! Maru, come here, Maru! Hi! Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Hi, Maru, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hello. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Well, I'm excited too. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for this playthrough. I am excited to meet you, Maru. I'm excited. What? Oh, Demetrius, hello. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying local plants and animals. All right, cool. Have you met my daughter? She's interested to meet you. Uh, I did meet your daughter. She seemed very nice. Not as standoffish as perhaps some people in this town might be. 
All right, let's see. Do we have any forage up this way? I don't see. I see Linus. That's Linus is not forage though. That's <laughs> that's certainly true. Hello, friend. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I live out here all alone. All right. Well, hope you uh, hope you enjoy that. We'll catch you later, friend. Wait, 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 wait. Was there something behind that tree hanging? Is that? Yes. Ha-ha! I saw you, horseradish. You cannot hide from me. This time, I'll get you, horseradish. Excellent. Yes, we have the forage! It's very exciting. Now let's get on down here. We'll go down and we'll plant the rest of our crops. And then I guess we'll just run around and try and find some more forage. I think that's probably what we'll do. Um, Do I need an axe? Maybe we try to chop down a tree. I don't know that we'll have the energy. Okay, so. Let's uh, sell one of those. We'll sell one of those. Maybe we'll eat the mushroom. Yeah. So forage... Forage, forage, for now that is a seed packet. There we go, let's eat the mushroom. Very good. That should be enough energy now. I think. Yes, I do. I think, I think, I think. Now here's the real, the real trick here at the beginning is trying to remember the path that we made earlier to get down here. It will eventually get more open and easier to do, but for now, that is not the case. All right, and we are going to use these for uh, all of that because we already have used the energy uh, of digging up that dirt. So it just makes the most sense. And then we have two more, which we'll put right here. There we go. Now, we have spent all of our money currently, all of our funds on those items. And that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Now let's get back up this way. We're going to go up to the top here. And we're going to start clearing out some of these these trees up here. Uh, I think I should be able to chop down a couple of trees. We're going to leave the stumps. Uh, keep in mind it is chopping down the tree in case you didn't know. That gives you the most... Uh, foraging experience. The stump does not give you that much. And if you leave the stump, you can also get more seeds from it over time. So it is advantageous, at least at the beginning, uh, to leave, leave the stumps in as much as you can so that you can get more seeds. Alright, I don't think we have quite enough energy to get the last of that, so I'm gonna grab these. There we go. Now then, let's wander down to the south. Out into the woods. We'll clear out some stuff as we go. Hope that we get more mixed scenes along the way, which we just did, which is nice. And then we'll plant those uh, tomorrow. That's the plan. It is awfully nice that down here, the, uh, the game provides you with some grass, so you don't have to worry about that. A little hitch in the game there. I forgot to change the CPU affinity thing. Hello, 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 worms. How are you today? Hey, look at that. We got an artifact. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about it. Well, well, well. And now we have this. Visit Gunther at the museum. But the museum's closed for today. So we will be unable to do that. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to just zip straight south past everything out here. Yep, we're just going to keep going. We're going to go over this bridge. And we're going to keep going south. And go past this bonus farm. We're going to go all the way down here. I know it's kind of a walk, but this is where, if there were any spring onions, they would be down here. I don't see any today. But that's where they would be. Okay. Uh, is there anything here? Nope. All right. Let's go up and around. This is Sophia's farm right here. Um, I believe that you can date and marry her should you choose to. This goes down to the beach. 
which is where we want to go in the hopes of finding more forage. Look at that. I did find more. It's very exciting. Aha! A knowledge book! Oh, yeah. The library has expanded. Clay! Okay. Well, what are we going to toss? Well, I think we have enough fiber and we're going to get lots more. So let's just toss those so we can grab that. I know that will irritate some of you. That's okay. We probably could have put the watering can away. We did not. And that's okay too. Now we're going to go back up and around this way to the farm. Just chilling our way back. I was really hoping that one of those two artifact spots on the beach would be another actual artifact, but... It's okay that they weren't. That's Marnie's, of course, right there. That we're walking on through. And since we have no room in our inventory, we're just going to keep... We're just going to go up to the top. We're going to sell a couple of things. And then probably we'll walk around the farm a little bit more, and we'll try to get a few more... Uh, mix seeds and fiber out of the day before we end up going to sleep. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. We're going to sell all of our fish. There we go. And stack some items. Stack, stack, stack. And we'll toss that in there as well. Um, Let's grab that too, I suppose. And uh, yeah, all right. Let's go look around for some more, some more bushes that we can remove. Good times. It's kind of hard to see them at night, actually. They look a little, I don't know, they look weird. <laughs> it's hard for me always to identify what I'm looking at without a light source of any kind. And uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll figure it out. We have all the time in the Stardew Valley world, quite frankly. There's no rush on this playthrough. Uh, of course, we would like to get everything done as fast as possible. Uh, just because then we can access more things and, uh, you know, move around faster, for example. Get some coffee going and all that good stuff. Um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to try. I'm not necessarily going to try to min-max everything. Uh, I, I just, I don't enjoy playing games that way, typically speaking. So, uh, don't expect a lot of that on this playthrough either. If you saw the last playthrough, 180 episodes, I think you kind of have a good feel for how this will go. And how things are, and how I play the game. And It'll be a little different, of course, because it's a different farm, and it's a modded, and etc, etc. But, we're starting to feel exhausted. Oh my. That sounds rough, you know. Hey, we got a coal. Got a piece of coal. Very good. Okay, let's reorganize all of our items here. Uh, usually my sword goes there, but for now I think we'll put the side there and uh, we'll, we'll do it like that. And now it's time to sleep for the day. Here we go. Go to sleep. Yes, I would love to. And there's level one foraging. Perfect. Now we can harvest up. Oh, we're at 260 uh, dollars already. Now we can harvest up some glorious seeds. And we can enjoy energy. <laughs> Weather report for tomorrow. Rain. The third day is almost always rain. Uh, new viewer. The spirits are very displeased. Bum, bum, bum. They're not happy with us today. Hello, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you, Willie. Okay, Willie, we will make sure to do that. But first, we have some seeds to collect from around the farm. Uh, it will take a little bit of time to run around and sort of look and poke and see where that all leads us. But uh, certainly, we would like to gather... A plethora of seeds. Now, what is this blocking my way? Are you... Are you... A, what is that? See, again, I couldn't see there, so... 
Okay, we are doing well with our seed collection. Oh, there's a pine tree right there. Got another pine cone anywhere down here? Sometimes they're in here. Um, the pine cones, I will say, typically here at the beginning are sort of the hold up. Now, later on, that's not so much the case because there's so many pine trees to cut down that you just end up with just a lot of pine trees, uh, cones, as, you know, like around you. You end up with a lot of pine trees because you end up with a lot of pine cones, and that's what you end up planting. And... Anyway, it's, uh, it's kind of funny that way. All right, well, it's time to water our stuff. Now, the best part about this is that the next episode, the first day, we won't have to water anything because it's going to rain. And that is super fun. It's a great day to go fishing that first day that it rains. You have all of your energy to uh, to play around with there. I usually try to fish that day. I usually try to fish this day too, this second day, as soon as Willy says come and get it. So we'll probably have a little fishing involved here. Alrighty. All of that is watered and ready to go. Now let's keep looking for more tree seeds floating around. I will probably miss one. If I do, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, but it is... I don't want to say likely. It is certainly possible that we'll miss some. They are tricky little things to find sometimes. What about up here? Do we have anything like... Way up here at the top of the map? No, doesn't look like it. All right. Put some things away here. Let's see. Put one of those away, two of those away, and we will make two of you. And then we'll put away all the things that we don't need. We're going to keep the hoe out because um, there might be some artifact spots and also some tree seeds yet. So let's just keep a look, look out there. And let's go see uh, where Willy is. To the beach. Well, hello there. Hi! Aren't you new here? You're definitely a new face. My name's Trini. Trini, okay? Not Trina, not Tiny, Trini, got it? Uh, okay. Yeah, no, no problem. I got you. Hey, check that out. Even more forage. Oh yeah. Busting up that forage skill. Now it is Tuesday. It's a great day to go on over to Pierre's store and meet some more people. Since everybody should be there exercising. Doom, 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 doom. So let's get on that. Come on in here. Doom, 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 doom. We could buy more seeds if we chose to. Hello, Caroline. Oh, are you sure? I am sure. Hey, do you like me? Not really. It was worth a try. Maybe if they were gold stars. I don't, oh, there's Abigail. Oh, sorry, Abigail. Oh, hello. Trying to go out. Thanks. Okay, we talked to you. Oh, there's Evelyn. Hello, hello. Welcome to our community. You can call me Granny if you like. All right, no problem. Oh, you weren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone moves in. Have you met the other farmers? I'm working on it. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's right, work. All right, what are you trying to say there, Emily? Hi, Marnie. No, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products. You should swing by sometime. I definitely will. <laughs> Never you doubt that, Marnie. We'll be there. We will be there. Uh, would you like a flower? That's wonderful. I'm grateful. Oh, thank you. Good day. I don't believe we've been introduced. You are the new farmer. Well, you most certainly look the part. Oh, well, thank you. How do you say this name? I don't know how you pronounce her name. Is it... I... Ideen? Iden? Ideen? Aideen? Look, chat. Uh, chat. Listen. Comment section. Tell me how to pronounce this name. Type it to me. Like you were... You know... Telling a six-year-old. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Because <laughs> I have no idea. And I'll just keep butchering it until you correct me. So, correct away. 
<laughs> hey, Willie, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Ahoy there, son. I heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Hey, Willie. It's great to meet you, too. Though I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod I did. There, I want you to have me old one. It's important to me the art of fishing stays alive. And maybe now we'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks so much for the free fishing pole. You received a bamboo pole. Da -da -da -da. Oh. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh, yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what my old papa used to say anyway. All right. Thanks, Willie. Appreciate you. You go back to smoking that pipe. If you enjoy it. Now then. And before we actually go fishing, let's walk around for a second. Hola! My name's Carmen. If you need any fishing stuff, I have your back. I don't know where Carmen lives, you guys. <laughs> I have no idea. There's nothing on the beach. There's nothing on the beach today, laddie. There's nothing. Alright, uh, let's fish over here. We'll try to catch a few fish, run in, sell them to Willy, and then uh, maybe we'll meander somewhere and catch other fish. Mm -hmm. You know me and fishing. You know, you just gotta, you gotta get it done. We gotta go. Oh yeah, let's grab this fish. Oh! 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 Da 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 da! We got a herring. We should cut down a tree with it. Cut down a tree with a herring. Bam! 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 We are the knights who say me, and we will say me again until you, if you do not appease us. Perfect catch! Look at this. Oh yeah, perfect sardine, and we get yeah just a plain one, not even a silver. That's the way the sardine crumbles. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Could you imagine eating a whole tin of sardines, by the way? I think it'd be really salty. I think you'd need to drink a lot of water with that. That's... Joja Cola! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is it who likes that, by the way? Is that a Sam? Sam likes Joja Cola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason we're going the Jojo route, by the way, is because um, I thought it would be a fun challenge as opposed to the community center doing that route all the time. And then I think in the uh, modded mega playthrough that we'll end up eventually doing at some point after this, uh, we'll, we'll do the community center again. So that'll be a nice, that'll be a nice mix for all of you. It will, it will. Oh yeah, we got some garbage. Ah, it's glorious. Soggy newspaper. What an amazing catch. Truly, we are blessed. Do you get experience for catching trash? Is it like... Do you just get like one experience for that? Is that... Like, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you get for catching garbage. I'm unsure. Um, how that works. Or what you get from it. I really don't know. I think you just get like zero. I think it's just zero. Eat the seaweed. Get a little energy back. Not a lot, but a little. I would appreciate some more fish game. Okay. Uh, I would like to level up my fishing skill, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What a day. Anyway, yeah, to go back to what I was saying earlier, people keep calling me because it, today is my birthday. But so far, everyone who has called me has called me while I was recording something, and I've not been able to answer the phone. <laughs> so I feel a little bit, I don't know, sheepish about that to some extent. Like, it's like, I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I'm trying to trying to get other things done. Like, not that I don't want to talk to you. Sorry, friends. 
you. I still love you. I'll call you back later, I promise. Uh, probably not till after dinner, though. And uh, that's okay. <laughs> it's almost like a, we've been trying to reach you about your extended birthday. <laughs> good times. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's a good time. All right. Let's, uh, oh, there's a chest. Well, you know how we are with chests. Gotta catch them all. That's right. Maybe we'll get something super fun. Ancient seed, let's go! Okay, or copper ore, that's cool. If that had actually been an ancient seed, I know all of you would have lost your minds. It would have been amazing, to be honest. It really would have been just... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stunning. All right, let's uh, let's grab this. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna sell our fish real fast. Uh, Willie, just so you know, have some fish and some fish. Thank you so much. How much do we need? Oh, it's not even unlocked. Never mind. Never mind. Twenty-five thousand for the bed. My goodness, man. That's a lot of that's a lot of dosh. All right, let's, uh, we're just going to toss these. We don't need them in our lives. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. We caught some nice fish there. Let's go back on over this way. We'll check out down in the southern part here. And see if uh, there's any spring onions floating around. Also, maybe, uh, is anybody outside here? Hello? Oh, we can just go in? Oh, well, that's awkward. Hello, friend. Ah, stranger. Oh, wait, aren't you a hill, the new farmer? S -s Sorry, I I get a little n nervous around people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of the Blue Moon Vineyard. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you around, I, I guess. Okay, bye. Have a lovely day. Just wanted to say hello. Hello. And now we can say goodbye. Goodbye! Have a great day. All right, back to spring onion searching. Okay. Maybe there'll be some today. Or not. Okay, then. I guess the answer to that is no. There will not be more today. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, well, let's fish here for a little bit, maybe. This seems like a lovely spot. I don't know where to fish on the new rivers, you guys. Um, just don't know. We'll figure it out as we do it, I guess. Oh, yes. That was super helpful. Are there fish in, in this area? Are you a fish area? Do you give me fish? There we go. There's a fish. Excellent. What kind of fish? River? Lake? Ah, lake and river. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit the button. I'm sorry. We have wasted valuable energy. Yes, we did. Oh, yes. This is how catching fish should be. I think our bar got bigger. I'm pretty sure we hit level one. Excellent. Yes. Yes, excellent. Level one fishing. <laughs> we are on our way to fishing domination. That's right. Domination. Super fun. Do, 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 do. Just gotta, I just sort of like tap the button, by the way, in case anybody needed to know sort of like how I do things. Uh, I, I do get questions sometimes like, oh, you seem to be really good at fishing. How do you do it? Well, mostly I just tap the button. You do occasionally have to mix it in with a button press, but uh, it's, it's hard to explain something that I do by feel. Um, and break it down into not that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mixture of tapping and holding. Mostly tapping. Mostly. Not fully, but mostly. Boom! Sploosh! Whoop! Did you know that there's different noises that you can put on for, like, the fishing thing? I didn't know that. 
I listened to all of them and then I went, my brain has been trained for over like 600 hours, 700 hours, whatever it's been, to only listen for one thing. And if I turn that off and change it, I'm going to get super confused. So, needless to say, I did not change that. Although I could have, I could, I saw it there in the options. I could have, we could have changed it. That is definitely the case. Boop, boop. Oh, good. There are a lot of fish right here. This is great. There was also some garbage, but it's like a, it's like a three to four, three fish out of four casts. That was a gold one even too. Nice. Golden bream. It really is my dream. Oh yeah. Get that golden bream. Good stuff. Boop, boop. Let's go. Let's grab this fish right here. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and I don't want to catch you just yet. Now I would like to catch you because I have the treasure chest. What kind of fish are you? That's that's a valid question. A chub. Oh, it's a special chub. Iron ore. Well, let's toss this broken CD and we'll grab the iron ore. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll eat this delicious algae. Mm -mm. Get a little energy back. And do a little more fishing. Not a lot more fishing. One or two more casts. It takes a while to walk back home now. You can't just boom, teleport there like we used to. Driftwood. Okay. We'll hold on to that. We have no purpose or business wandering around and looking for forage right now because we have no room. So one of the first things that I like to save up for is the backpack upgrade. I think it's 2000. Um, that's usually the first thing that I get when I am uh, working on the Jojo route because the more you can carry, the more money you can make. And the more money you can make, the faster you can get everything because it's Jojo and everything just costs money. So... You know, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. You do every once in a while on the beach farm, by the way. Want to just sort of walk around the edge. Look by the water because there oftentimes will be things there. All right. That can go in. That can go in. That can go in. Those are... See, now these are gift items. I know they're garbage, but they're also gift items. And we're going to sell all of our fish. We're not going to keep any of them. And then, um, we're going to go, I did see down here, there was a seed. I saw you, tree seed. You can't, you can't be hiding from me. I saw you. Now let's go all the way to the left side of the map here. Let's walk behind a bunch of these trees and just make sure that we did a nice thorough job earlier in the day when we were out and about walking around. Got a whole little mini mine going here. Now let's just check. Sometimes, there we go. Sometimes you get some forage washed up. Sometimes it's, uh, oh, you know, like a box of things that, you know, like fertilizer or something. So it can be really helpful to, uh, to find those things and to grab them. So we're just going to look real quick again. We'll just check this left-hand side of the map. Go on down here. Take a quick look. Okay, I don't see anything. See, now down here, it's almost impossible at night to find any seeds, even if they are there. So, But there is a little bit more to the map right down here. There's also a dock. And there's like a little pathway out to a dock over down to the left there as well. And you can, uh, you can fish from there, and I think you get like a special something or other. It's been a while since I did the beach farm, though. Oh, hey, I got some fiber. That's cool. All right, we do still have a little bit of energy left, so real fast, let's just grab some of these. Ah, we got a geode. Our first one. There's some coal. Excellent. So you just got to make use of all of your time in Stardew Valley. Otherwise, uh, bad things end up happening. Yeah. 
triggered by bad things. I just mean you don't have to get things done quite as quickly as you could. All right, let's grab our other tools out of here. Uh, do we need the axe tomorrow? I don't know that I do. Go on over here. We're going to sell uh, the muscle. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's good. I think then, probably, that should be all that we need. Uh, I don't. We won't need the watering can. Excellent. Time for sleeping. There we go. Level up. Plus one fishing. Good job there. And we get a few hundred from that. Okay. We should be back over 500. So if we wanted to, we could swing by Pierre's on Thursday and buy some more seeds. It is possible. Look at that. We're already over 800. It's awesome. There we go, friends. Hey, there's our first episode of the modded playthrough in the books. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate all of you. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care until then.